I'm going moto camping on the Adventure Grom. Going on the highway is really not safe or advisable. Look where we are. Making tiny payments to the Department of Forestry to pay for a forest fire I caused. I'm just gonna gently milk it, take it out the juice. The last time I had one of these, it was not good. Here's to you, Grommy. Hello friends and welcome back to the dork side. I'm the dork in the road. Today I'm doing something kind of silly. I'm going moto camping on the adventure grom. I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy so please consider subscribing. So I built this adventure grom to take adventures and I can think of no better adventure to test it on than taking it moto camping. So here's what I've done. I've loaded the grom up with all my moto camping gear. This is a giant loop great basin bag with a rogue bag attached to the back. Got my water bladder on top, my green manta ray, my buck and roll tank bag, and the, the classic, the zigzag handlebar bag. And we're gonna go ride out to the Shotgun Creek area and moto camp at my favorite spot, the spot from the first solo moto camping video. I'm going out to the Shotgun Creek area because it's a place that I can get to without getting on the highway. So I did a GPS speedometer test on this thing the other day and the top speed right now, fully loaded like this, is about 50 miles an hour. So going on the highway is really not safe or advisable. So we're gonna go to a place that I can ride all back roads through farmer's fields basically to get there through the town of Brownsville and then out up into the woods. It's all BLM land, I can camp there. Can't have a campfire because it's still fire season. So we're gonna do a dehydrated meal for tonight. But this will be the first time, the longest I've ever ridden the Grom and uh, first time really doing any extended kind of highway riding. So I'm excited to see how it does. And uh, I'm excited to get you lots of good footage of how ridiculous I look on this thing, especially fully loaded. It's a little bit like a circus bear riding a tricycle. And that's part of what makes it funny. So I'm gonna suit up, get on this bike and we're gonna head out there and hopefully I've got everything I need. I got a remarkable amount of gear in this bag. This will be fun. It'll be an adventure one way or the other. Here we go, leaving the pavement and hitting the gravel. There's a really gorgeous overlook right over here that we should go check out because the Adventure Grom deserves some scenery. Going up. Oh yeah, that part is bouncy. Standing is necessary. Come on, you can do it, baby. See, people doubt the adventure ground, but look where we are. Look where we are. It's just as gorgeous on that side too, you just can't see it behind the mountain right now. Okay, that was a fun detour, but let's actually go camping. Got stuff to do, man.
So I made it. I'm here at my secret secluded spot that is clearly never used because the grass is a foot high and barely tamped down. There's some tamp down over here, but that's because Duck Fan was here camping about two weeks ago. No one else has been here since the time I camped here in April. It is now August. I know because there's my pile of firewood that I left. So I'm thinking about ready to start setting up camp, but I kind of want to show you just how much gear I got on the bike and everything I brought with me uh, as I do that. So I'm just going to unload the bags for you now and then I'll set up camp. So I've already opened the rogue bag. As you can see, there's my chair over there by the fire pit that I won't use. So that's one thing that has come out, which, you know, I didn't think I'd get to bring. So I was pretty stoked on that. So I have my Sea to Summit, my green manta ray here that was on top. Inside my rogue bag is, this is my little table, which I'll set up over there and cook on. Brought my first aid kit, my survive wear first aid kit. I brought a fire extinguisher that I've started carrying with me in the woods because one, I'm close to the OHV trails and when they're open, you're supposed to carry one. And I don't know if they'd believe me if I was like, oh, I'm not riding on the OHV trails. So uh, I've started carrying one with me. And the other thing is I just, with this hot exhaust and all this really dry grass that has not been wet in a long time, I just don't want to be that guy who drops his bike and it starts a fire and I've got no way to put it out and it gets out of control. And I spend the rest of my life making tiny payments to the Department of Forestry to pay for a forest fire I caused. So this is small and light, easy to pack with me. And even though I'm not having a campfire tonight, it's just peace of mind to have it on, on me, on the bike. So here it is. And the only other thing in the Rogue here is my GoPro. This is all my filming stuff extra batteries and battery packs and things. But other than that, my chair was in here. So if it seems like there wasn't much in this bag, it's because the chair was in there. It takes up a lot of space. I'll show you what's in the basin bag. So the great basin bag is attached to my rear rack on the bottom here, these three. And then it's got these straps that go up and over the top to the beaver tail that you see here. Unclip it here, unclip it here, and you just roll it up. And I can get into the bag and everything that's inside. It's gonna be awkward because I have to do it while holding it. I did not pack light. I thought I was going to have to on the Grom, and I ended up with a ton of extra room. So I've got a bunch of luxuries. So this, this dry bag here, this is my Nintendo Switch and my Kindle. So this is my Oh Crap I'm Bored bag, which is a total luxury. Not at all needed, but there was just room in the bag. 68 liters in this Great Basin bag. It's kind of crazy. This is my cooking setup and my food. Jet boil, jerky. There's a dehydrated meal in here. My thermocell is in here. And then this is my possible pouch with my cooking stuff, some toilet paper, headlamp, batteries, all that stuff. That's on here. I brought extra clothes. So I brought some pants to put on here in a minute. And it's supposed to get cold, like in the 40s. So I brought, it's just my climb mid layer that I can wear under my jacket in the morning if it's cold when I ride out. This is my whole sleeping bag and it's down in the left leg of this bag. There we go. So that whole thing, that whole bag right there was down in the left leg of my Great Basin bag. Uh, that's all for down there. You can see empty, cavernous. But over here, I've got sleeping pad. I've also got Nemophilo. And down in, again, the right leg of this bag, my whole tent. Great Basin bag, huge. It goes on any bike with passenger foot pegs. How do I know? Because I put it on a damn Grom. That's how I know. I think I probably should set my tent up so I can get my crap off the ground and into the tent at least. Well, it's about 5.10, I'm hungry, and I wanna eat dinner before I start drinking and have a Mr. Puff Puff, so let's make our meal. Chili Mac with beef. Jet boil. Most importantly, a spoon. Craziest thing about the Sea to Summit Green Manta Ray, Pacific Northwest version, is that it flocks anywhere you go. You can find them anywhere. They tend to follow campers specifically. This might even be the same one that I've seen multiple places, but. It's so right here. I'm just gonna gently milk it to get out the juice that we need in order to cook our food. Okay, here I come. Again, delicate operation. Do not attempt unless you've been trained. I was trained at the uh, Pacific Northwest Steve Irwin Institute. And so I'm very qualified to interact with this particular piece of sensitive wildlife. 
Depends if my igniter is not very enthusiastic, so. I get work today, that's good. Mmm, that looks so good. Also, don't forget to take this out. I have a tendency to forget to take this out. It takes nine minutes total to cook it. It's also good till November 2050, so I think we're solidly within the window. November 2050, I will be 70 years old. This bucket roll, I only put the most important items in the bucket roll, and uh, it's exactly the right size for my Moto Camp Nerd flask, and my travel humidor is in there, so go buck and roll like it's designed for it. This is actually my first sip of whiskey, believe it or not. I've been busy filming and setting up camp and stuff. Pour it in for five minutes, right? This is a mountain house. Again, made in my hometown of Albany, Oregon. Um, the last time I had one of these, it was not good, which was hilarious. But uh, I've heard that that particular flavor, which was chicken fried rice, is particularly bad but other flavors aren't as bad. So this is a chili mac, which I haven't had. So let's give it a try. I've gotten really lazy since I can't have a campfire. I normally like to be a little bit more elaborate about my meals. Since I can't have a fire, I'm just not that excited to cook. So I haven't brought anything. Mmm. So tonight we're enjoying some buffalo trace along with our dinner. I like this spot a lot because if it's secluded, nobody comes here that I know of, and there's just a big flat area, but that's about all it has going for it. It's overgrown. Oh, and there's ample firewood generally, which doesn't matter this time. But it's overgrown, there's no view, so it's not like the best spot on earth, but it's close to home, easy to get to, and nobody else seems to come here. It's my go-to for a quick overnighter like this. Grom, zero problems riding out here other than lack of top speed. Climb the hills better than I thought it would. Uh, in second gear, thought I was going to be first gearing it up these big hills, but made it up in second gear, so here's to you, Grommy. Today's a special day, by the way. It's Monday, August 30th, and I didn't realize it until late last night, but uh, today is the day that I should have gone back to work full-time after this summer ended. I've been working the last couple weeks, but I normally do work a few days for new teacher academy and stuff during the summer, but in terms of back in the office full-time, today would have been the day. So instead, I'm out here moto camping on my Grom because this is my job now. And I think today is a day that it really sort of hit me that that was a thing, that this, this is actually happening. We've known it was happening since June, but uh, it didn't feel real because I always have had summers off. For the last 10 years, I've had summers off. And so I always try to get out and make as many videos as I can in the summer, knowing that when school starts again, I'm not going to be able to go camping as much or at all and do all that stuff. And this year, Camping season's just getting started, man. It's been so hot in the summer, I haven't gone as much, but the fall's gonna be, we're gonna camp a lot, because this temperature right now, perfect. It's like 70 degrees. I love it. So that's exciting. So, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Like, this job being my job is official today. This is the first day, so I'm out celebrating. Celebrating, cheers. Here's to that, here's to full time. Cheers, here's to Giant Loop for helping me make that happen and paying me to make videos for them. You know, here's to chasing your dreams and finding ways to make them happen. Okay, we gotta stir this. Ooh, it's still kind of bubbling. Yeah, you see, it's too much water. I think I had an extra half a cup, so it's gonna be real watery. Four more minutes. I actually had to put my jacket on. I haven't had to do that in a while. Uh, it's a little chilly with the wind, which we expected tonight, which is why I brought pants and stuff. So. This should be about done. Oh, it is watery. I definitely put too much water in. Yeah, this is like soup. Let's try it. There's beans in here, dude. And the beans are a little powdery inside, but not bad. It tastes like chili. Good thing I'm camping alone out here. Eating these beans. That's pretty hot. I'll tell you what, unlike the last meal I had of theirs, this is edible. If this sucks, I got a bag of jerky, so I'm always covered, I'm always prepared. Fat guy's always got backup food. Come on now. A fly literally just landed right in my water. The hell, he jumped right in. I don't want to drink you, fly. Get out of here. Anyway, watching me eat this is not exciting, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. Well, I'm alone. Dinner's eaten. Camp is set up. It's probably time for Mr. Puff Puff.
Let's do some evening enjoying. Be very careful with things that are on fire. Grom got its first battle scar, I noticed. Thank you, wild animal. And if a goofy idiot like me can do it, then anyone can. Fire pit, that's my chair. The Grom, bag. Survived yet another moto camping adventure.